Greetings, dear friends, in our Lord's strong name. Welcome to another point of view. This is where we get to think through a little longer one of the insights related to the sermon of the week. This week was a significant week. It was the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. We looked at this marvelous text in Luke 4, 21 through 30, where Jesus, our Lord, was rejected at Nazareth, his own hometown. And the thesis of the sermon was the, the people of Nazareth misjudged Jesus as their overfamiliarity made it difficult for them to see him as he truly was. And in today's meditation, I want to exhort us not to make the same mistake as they did. We must be careful not to allow our supposed overfamiliarity with, with the Lord, with whom we think he is, to interfere with who he actually is in his true identity. I fear that many, many people sort of treat Jesus like his, a buddy. He's just like one of the guys. And, you know, we, we, we are so familiar with him and we use phrases like he's my pal and my friend. And we, we tend to just overly exaggerate our relationship with him in terms of a lack of somber and sober relationship to him as the son of God. Dear friends, in Matthew eleven twenty-seven, 27, Jesus really makes it plain that it's, it, it's, it doesn't pay for us to be overly familiar with him. He will say in verse 27 of Matthew 11, all things have been handed over to me by my father and no one knows the son, no one except the father. And no one knows the father except the son and anyone to whom the son chooses to reveal him. And then in verse 28, he gives us an invitation. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is ease and my burden is light. Dear friends, in all the ways we've depicted and thought about our Lord, in all the ways we think about him, we should always remember that he's different than what we think. Don't become so overly familiar with him that you don't allow him to teach you fresh new things about who he is. Because this was the problem of the people in his own hometown. 